travel advisors who are struggling with creating video content in your business. Listen, if you're not creating video content today, you don't have a YouTube channel, you don't show up on video at all, listen, you're not alone. But you are missing out on the power of video. People get the opportunity to connect directly with you as the business owner. They get to hear your voice, learn what you're about, see you in action, and learn that you are the expert in your niche. And in this training, we're going to go over some tips and step-by-step -step guide on what you can do, not only to create compelling and engaging video content, but let, use the power of AI to help you. But before I get started, let me ask you a question. What is your number one challenge that you have with creating video? Is it the ideas? You don't know what to say. Maybe it's the setup. Maybe you're not sure what tools to use. You don't know how to operate your camera. There's a lot to impact when it comes to creating content to the lighting, the sound, the best time, the content, and making sure that you also promote. In this training, we're going to go over the steps required to not only create compelling content, get it recorded, and then actually promote it so that it's visible to who you want to see. When I first started, I was significantly shy. I was petrified of showing up to sort of an empty screen of people. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know. I didn't like the sound of my voice. I didn't even like the way that I looked on camera. And so it those fears are what prevented me from showing up. However, I had a business coach, Tracy Timberlake, who offered us a challenge to show up every single day for 30 days, no matter what, didn't matter what the content was, and show up and talk. And I accepted that challenge. And that 30 days 30 days straight, I think I missed maybe one or two days, and I showed up every single day. Don't, don't get me wrong. Those early videos, they were pretty crappy. But what it did is it allowed me to get over my shyness, and it allowed me to shake it off, get used to and comfortable hearing myself talk. It allowed me to show up regardless of who was on the other side of that camera to actually get my message out. And so in today's training, I'm going to actually talk to you about the steps that you can take to actually prepare so that you don't have to worry about what are you going to say, what are you going to do, and you can also accept the challenge that I'm going to offer you a little bit later on in this training. First, the first thing is, is that, you know, things are so much easier now with AI. Before AI, I used to have to sit down, I would sit down, I would get on Google and I would brainstorm. I would take at least an hour to 90 minutes brainstorming topic ideas, doing research on YouTube, doing research on Pinterest to determine hot topics and what I wanted to talk about. But with the power of AI, you don't have to do all of that anymore. You can actually have AI be your researcher of sorts to come up with ideas, concepts so that you can test them. And what I'll tell you is speed to market is going to be the best thing that you can do. Get your idea on paper, get it out there, record it and see how it does and rinse and repeat. The more that you can create the content effortlessly, the easier it's going to be for you to be discovered. And that's what we want. We want people who you want to work with to see you in action, know that you're an amazing travel advisor and you're a trusted advisor that can handle not only their requirements, but their friends and family and get them out of town. So let's talk about some ways that AI can help you. First, the first and most powerful way is with planning your content. I use ChatGPT to help plan out my topics, my titles, the descriptions, come up with ideas based on what I want to talk about. And that can be also used for you as well. So let's say you've got a destination and you want to go to my favorite destination to talk about right now is Bali. Let's say you're planning a trip for Bali and you want to create compelling content around Bali. Well, you can ask ChatGPT for content ideas around Bali. Ask it for behind the scenes ideas, tips and tricks, what to do, an itinerary to talk about, cultural ideas, 
you name it, you can um, ask ChatGPT. Consider it to be sort of your friend in um, who has all the information, all the answers to all the questions that you have. And so you can help have ChatGPT to help you plan. And even if you don't know where to start with ChatGPT, all you have to do is have a destination in mind and have an ideal client identified. So you can use ChatGPT to help you do that. What I'm going to do now is show you actually how you can do that. Even without a pre-scripted prompt, you can just have ChatGPT help you with some ideas. I'm going to show you now how you can use ChatGPT to actually help you brainstorm your video content ideas so that you aren't starting from scratch. So I already have ChatGPT Chat, Chat. GPT open and here what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to give you guys a prompt I'm just going to actually have you get comfortable with asking questions of chat GPT to get the creative juices going And so here we're going to start with the destination I'm going to also let chat GPT know what my, who I am and the context for which I wanted to create something so I am a travel advisor looking to create And this is, I type this so you guys could get an idea of if you don't know where to start with ChatGPT is it can actually help you just get an understanding of how you can utilize the tool to help you use it better to help you create what you want. So here, one of the things that I just wanted to show you is I asked it how it could help you create the video plan. It could help define your audience and topic focus create an outline for each video, create video scripts, brainstorm creative hooks and introductions, optimize call to action, generate SEO friendly titles and descriptions, and it keeps going on. And so when you're absolutely new to travel, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this demo because I have other training that you can refer to. If you look at the video to the right, you'll be able to see um, a link to that training. I actually did a full prompt on how to identify your ideal client and also how to create a 30 day content plan using AI refer to that training. But what we're going to do now is we're going to actually take uh, this idea here and um, like brainstorm some creative. I actually want to give it a focus. I'm going to tell it that I want to talk about Bali. I'd like to focus on destination Bali. This is going to give you just some ideas here. There is a prompt structure that I like to follow. We'll go over that a little bit later, but right now I just want you again to get comfortable with asking the questions and getting the answers that you want. So here, what I just did is I told it the destination. I told it that it was for the upcoming month. I wanted weekly topics and that I was going to be releasing topics and I misspelled week, but that's okay, um, three times a week. So now what it's done is it's giving me a great list of topics, the title, and an overview of what that is. This is what I call ideation. That's what the term is called. It's ideation where you are using ChatGPT to come up with ideas. So I've selected the destination. You can fill in the blank and put your destination and or you could use this very prompt just to start brainstorming. The more specific you are in terms of what you give ChatGPT as context, the better the results are. In this situation, I didn't tell it anything about my target audience. I didn't tell it anything about what about Bali I wanted to do. So I'm going to actually show you if I were to change this up. And I do like to actually edit 
a prompt that I've already started because then it'll give me a second version. So here, I'm gonna say I'd like to focus on Bali for the upcoming month here. I'm gonna fix my misspelling and then my target audience are families, young children, break for next summer. So now I've given it some additional context here and I'm just going to give it there and then click send and then what it's going to do is it's going to generate another version of this here and you can see that this is two of two so you can go back and you'll see what the original version is and then you can see now what the second and you see now this has now gotten more specific a perfect destination for a family vacation because i gave it some additional context listen when it comes to creating ideas ChatGPT is a really great tool to help you get those creative juices flowing now when it comes to now taking this to the next level, you actually can use ChatGPT to take these ideas, then create the outline for you, then create the script for you so that you're not having to just say, okay, now what do I do? So ChatGPT is absolutely 10 out of 10 for the win in terms of ideation and taking an idea or a concept and getting it out to market, speed to market is what we're aiming for. The number two way that you can use AI to help you with the creation of videos is to create and edit videos. I use a tool by the name of Opus AI to actually take a recorded video and create multiple mini videos out of that. It can create shorts and reels and also help me edit a video. I'm gonna actually show you how Opus AI works so that you can start using it to help you with the creation and editing of your videos. I'm gonna show you how I take one video and actually create multiple short videos with the use of an amazing tool called Opus Clip. So what I have right here is the application and so I'm going to drop in my YouTube URL. You can also upload it or use Google Drive. I'm going to go grab the URL. I'm going to actually grab my latest Here's the latest video that I have. I'm just gonna grab that URL and I'm gonna drop it right here in the link. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to bring in the video and then you can see down here that you have the option of deciding the landscape or portrait, the, the version of how the video is gonna get cut. And I'm going to use my um, template size here. We've already created a template that has our colors and our fonts here. And then this is all that we have to do is here. I can filter by some keywords. I'm not going to do that because I just want to show you what it's going to do. And then it's going to say, I'm going to click on get clips in one click. And what this is going to do is it go, it's going to actually take a couple of minutes to actually generate the videos. You'll get an email and then after you get the email, you'll then get um, the opportunity to look at the videos. And you can see that it's here. It tells you what the ETA is. It says it's going to be about seven minutes. So I'm going to come back in seven minutes and I'm going to show you what we do with the cut videos once they are done. Now the video is complete. It shows right here. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna make just a few changes and take a look at what it did. So this is a 17 and 30 second video. And what it did is based on that video, it created, let's see how many clips it created, automatically created 16 different clips for that one video. Now, I generally don't like every single clip that gets cut. Sometimes it's out of context. Sometimes 
it's not applicable um, in the short, but what it does do really well is it actually cuts it for you, transcribes it, adds the captions, and then also applies AI to give you some great hooks. And so this is the first hook that it's provided and it's scoring the likelihood of it going viral based on some criteria. So the hook, the flow, the value, and the trend, it gives you a 99. And so what I like to do is I like to actually take a look at or listen to the video. I won't do it in this training, but I do like to take a look at the video, listen to it, and make sure that the video is still, the context of the video still makes sense when it's been cut. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead and edit the clip and you'll get this dashboard that will allow you to edit the script, remove out the script or the actual edit the video proper. Like I just noticed really quickly that there was the mention of someone's name. And so we've already, I'm gonna revert it back because I already took it out, but I see that this name is in here. But then when I also look at it, when I listened to it, was it mentioned? So somebody must have said, maybe there was some background noise when the recording was, but I'm actually gonna go here and I'm gonna listen. That you need, so people will actually- I'm gonna go right here at the beginning. The paragraphs, the headlines, the subheadlines that you need, so people- So you can see that it didn't actually say it, but if you take a look at the video again and you play, you see that name is going to show up there. So what we want to do is we want to just get rid of that name. And all you have to do to get rid of content is highlight it, that you highlight what you want to get rid of. And then remove the caption. Since I don't, there was nothing said, I don't need to remove the video. I can just remove the caption, but you can actually remove snippets of the video and or so here it is again I'm going to remove that caption as well and so you can go through and you can edit your videos you can also add transitions you can also do voiceovers that'll be a whole nother training that I can do on some of the additional amazing uh, features that you can do but it can also add like a B roll which is like it'll cut inside of the video I'm gonna actually do that just so you can see here um, it'll generate a B roll, which is sort of, uh, it'll look, look at stock photo and based on uh, where AI thinks it would be good to add, it'll add it to the video, which is really very slick. Listen, it used to take me hours. I used to have a video editor, it used to take them weeks to edit my live video and then create these kind of snippets. Um, let me tell you, AI cannot do it all. It doesn't always take, like I said, everything into exact context. So there is a little bit of editing that I need to do. I don't have somebody do this work because they don't know the topic like I do. So what used to take me several hours to cut and edit a long video takes me less than, to do the 17 minute video, It'll probably take me about 20 minutes to go through, select the videos that I like, make some modifications to it, and then I hand that over to a graphic artist, my um, ace in the hole jam. She'll go through and she will then brand the video so that it looks and represents our colors. She adds some additional caption. She does some magic to the videos, but we literally with this tool are now able to post a reel every single day with minimal effort. What again used to take us hundreds of dollars and hundreds of man hours takes us just a few hours to do. She sets everything up. I cut it, give her the cuts, and that is all that we do. Listen, if you're interested in getting Opus Clip for you, all you have to do is click below the video here. I am an affiliate. I do get paid if you do decide to use my affiliate link, but listen, we use this in our travel business, in our coaching business. 
every single day, every single video that we do runs through this tool and it is a lifesaver in time and actual efficiency inside of our business. Let us know if you'd like to see more videos by liking and subscribing. Let us know in comments if there is an additional video you'd like us to do on Opus Clip or if you have any questions, I'll see you in the next video. The number three way that you can use AI to help you is to help you with coming up with promotional content with the videos that you create. You need compelling hooks, titles, descriptions, hashtags, tweets, emails, image ideas, all sorts of things. And I use a tool by the name of Cast Magic that helps me take a recorded video and then create the additional promotional content for the video. I'm going to show you how I take one video and create multiple pieces of content with the help of uh, a, an amazing tool called Cast Magic, which is an AI tool that will do that very thing. So let's get, I'm going to upload a video that is already recorded that we just did a couple of days ago so you can see what happens. So it's going to take a couple of minutes to actually upload. It's going to transcribe the video and then create some content. So I'm going to come now that we have uploaded the video, it is now available in the media library. And so let's just take a look at what um, we're going to actually open it up. And then we're going to go to YouTube here. This is already a preset uh, space that I've defined what I actually want to happen to the video. So here I'm going to click on it. And then what it does is, is it'll bring in the video. It'll, you'll have all of the transcription. You can listen to the video. What I then am going to do is I'm going to click on AI content and then um, it's actually looking for a speaker. So um, let's, uh, let's go back to the transcription and then select the speaker is myself I'm going to select me as a speaker and now that I've selected me as the speaker you can see that that speaker has changed it's transcribed it and then we're going to create the AI content from uh, this transcription so it'll take just a couple of minutes for that to be generated and then I'll show you what the magic of that looks like Okay, now that the content has been created, I've already given it the space that I've created is predefined. So it's going to create some YouTube titles. It's going to create social media posts. It's also going to have video keywords that I need to use when we upload it to YouTube. Here is some quotes and hooks and timestamps of those hooks that you can use. And this is all predefined. I get also, I've also defined a email newsletter that we can write about this. And then this is what I also think is really cool. We've added tweets so we can tweet out this message or you can use it for threads if you're not a Xer. And then I think we also have, this is threads by Instagram. And then here is a carousel idea so we can take that one video and then create a carousel of images. So this is the text that would be in here and then the blog post that we can create from this video as well. Listen, it no longer requires you to sit and brainstorm all of these different ways to create different pieces of content. With the help of AI, you can actually create multiple pieces of content with the use of a tool like Cast Magic. If you'd like to get Cast Magic, go ahead and click the link, my affiliate link below, and then you can sign up. There is a free trial, and you can start creating multiple pieces of content with one video today. Let me know in comments if you have any questions or would like to see more videos around Cast Magic. Let me know. And then like and subscribe so that we can know that you like this and that we can do more videos like this for travel advisors. Talk to you soon. Now that you've seen how I can use AI to help me not only brainstorm ideas, but create the content. Let's go over the simple steps that I go over to plan out my video content every single week. 
First, I brainstorm and plan. I use ChatGPT. You can also use an alternative travel friendly AI tool called Voyager Social to help you plan out and generate video ideas. Identify a list of topics that you want to go over. We actually pick a theme every month and then we create topics for every week. And then based on that, we create video content. So if you're looking for a video plan on, let's say, a particular destination like Bali, you can do the same. You'll use video, Voyager Social or ChatGPT and ask it to create you a 30-day plan based on a particular theme. That theme could be a destination or it could be a topic of your choice. Then what you want to do is create a weekly theme based on the overall month theme and then from there create your video content list. Then once you have your list, you can use AI to help you create outlines or scripts for each of your videos so that you don't get tongue tied as to what to say. It'll actually help you define out what you're going to say. I actually don't use ChatGPT for word for word script. It actually trips me up. So I actually help use it to create the outline. And then based on that, I use that outline to talk. The next thing that you're going to do, step two, is actually record your video. I use my camera, simple camera in landscape mode to record. You can utilize other tools, like if you wanna use a video recording tool, you can also use Zoom. That's one of the other tools that I use. You can use another tool like StreamYard if you wanna actually go live in the platforms that you want. So we use StreamYard to go live on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram. We also have configured it to go live inside of our group. I'll record another video in the future on how to connect StreamYard or Zoom to your Facebook group so that you can start to go live inside of your Facebook group again. Look out for that video coming soon. Step three is to actually edit and enhance the video. So once I've recorded the video or I've actually gone live, I'll download the video and then I'll repurpose the video and create short videos using Opus AI. And I use Cast Magic to actually create the promotional content for the video. Instead of actually you recording the video, you use ChatGPT or Voyager Social to create a video script. And then based on that video script, you just record your audio and then you use images and stock photo instead of your face. That's really a great tip if you already have, let's say, video at a destination. We just got back from Bali and we had so much video content. And so we actually will use that video content to with a voice overlay with me speaking on top of that. That's a really great way to have someone hear your voice and then use images or video to for other video that is not you as a part of the process. Now, listen, the only way that you're going to get over the jitters or being camera shy is to actually do it. I've got something that's going to help you do that. We've got our own challenge that's starting in October 7th, gives you a couple of weeks to get prepared. And I'm going to help you over the next several weeks to get yourself prepared. All you have to do is go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash challenge one dollar i'm going to give you 21 days of video content prompts so that you can create your own video plan you'll have daily prompts or you can actually utilize the prompts that i give you each day using chat gpt to create your own video script for each of the days all you have to do is go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash challenge to sign up for the challenge today. I also encourage you to join our new Facebook group, AI for Travel Advisors, where we're going to share each other's stories. We're actually going to host our video challenge inside of the group. And I share prompts every week. And I come inside of the group talking all things AI just for travel advisors so that you don't have an excuse as to why you don't market your business. Content is no longer the reason. Starting 
starting with a blank sheet of paper is no longer the reason. AI can be the friend that you never have to help you with your marketing endeavors. Listen, don't create a thing without promoting a thing and don't promote a thing without tracking the thing and let AI and me help you be amazing at promoting your travel business today. Listen, I'll see you in the next training and I'll talk to you soon. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.